Hello everyone and welcome to coding card. So in this tutorial we are going to solve this problem default arguments from debugging in Python. So if you see here in this problem, they have already written a code for us and few errors are present in this code. So we just have to fix that error. And basically this type of problems are asked in the very first round of the interview if you are appearing for any MNC. So let me explain this problem with the help of their given sample input. So here the very first line is 3 which means there will be 3 sample input and each will consist two things one is the string and another is the number. Now if the string is odd then we have to print the odd numbers up to the given n value. So here n is 2 then we have to print two odd number. So two odd number is 1 and 3. Now the second input is even and the number is 3 then we have to print 3 even number. So it will be from here 0 to 4. Now the third input is odd and number is 5 means we have to print 5 odd numbers. So again it will start from 1 see here 1 3 5 7 9. So this is the sample output for this given sample input and they have written the code for the same. Means they will take the input from the user and they will check if this string is even or odd on the basis of that they are calling the function odd stream and even stream now let me copy this sample input over here and show you suppose if i am giving the same sample input over here so you can see it is giving the correct output see two odd so one and three three even zero two four and five odd one three five seven nine so for this sample input it is giving correct output now let me change this one suppose if i give here four input and the last one is even and we have to print suppose four even number so at the end after printing five odd it should print zero two four and six now see the output So you can see here here compilation is successful now if you see here the output like 2 odd 3 even 5 odd so if you see here after printing 5 odd 13579 it should have printed 4 even starting from 0 but it is printing 4 even but not starting from 0 it is not giving the correct output so what is wrong in this code so let me explain you line by line over here so let me copy this one. Let me show here line by line. So this is our required code and our code will execute from line number 24. Now for the very first line it is asking for the n value for its total number of queries suppose I am giving 4. Now in the next line it is executing a loop till the queries means if we have given 4 so it will execute 4 times and the next line it is asking for the input string and the n value suppose for the very first we are giving suppose suppose odd and 2 now it will move in the next line in the next line line number 27 it is simply converting this 2 to integer type since this will be total string and we have splitted this one so it will be like this one two value separate two value and we are saving this in a stream name and this in a variable n so we are converting into integer now now it will check line number 28 it will check if the stream name is even then it will simply call print from stream by simply passing the n value if the stream name is not even it will go in else part and in else part they are passing n value and a object of odd stream class so here we have odd stream class so it will pass to this function print from stream so this is my print stream function and here, and here they are passing the n value which is 2 and a odd stream object suppose this is my object so this 2 will be passed to n and this object will be passed to stream and whenever we are creating an object for the odd stream my current value will be 
for this one the current value will be initialized by 1 now it will go in for loop line number 20 and in this for loop it will execute this print statement two times and two times it is calling stream dot get next means this object is having the get next function yes get next function is present over here in line number 14 so it will call this function twice because this loop will execute two times so two times the value so two times this get next function will be called so for the very first iteration it will go in get next method and here in the next line it is assigning current value which is one to the variable return to return so to return will have value one in the next line it is adding two to the current variable so one plus two which will be the now in the next line it is returning two return variable which is having value one so on the screen it will print one now next time again the loop will execute again in the to return it is assigning the value self dot current so self dot current is having value three so three will be assigned and current value will be updated with plus two so this return value will be assigned with three and this value will be updated with plus two which will be five and after that it is returning the two return value so two return is having value three so three will be printed now loop is over so we are done now next time next time this loop will execute line number 25 now here again we are giving the input suppose even two now it will go in line number 28 and take if the stream name is even yes if the stream name is even then it is simply calling this print from stream and simply passing the value n so let me delete this all now it will call the print stream now print stream is here and it is calling by only passing the value n which is 2 this value will be 2 and in stream by default if nothing is passed then even stream object will be created so this was my odd for the very first one suppose this is object 1 for the very first call so if the stream name is even then print from stream function is called by only passing the n value so this function will be called n value will be 2 and by default the stream will be even stream so even stream object will be created and it will be passed here suppose this is o2 for your reference now here we are executing this for loop and here we are executing n times so it will execute two times since my n value is 2 so same thing will happen over here now in the next line we are printing the value stream dot get next since this stream is the object of even stream class so so get next method will be called from here so when this object was created in this line in this line so at that time only the self dot current self dot current value was initialized by zero so this two return two return value will be zero now and self dot current will be self dot current will be plus two so it will be two now and here we are returning two return value so two return value will be zero so zero will be printed on the output again the loop will execute next time so next time again this get next will be called and two return value is assigned by self dot current so self dot current is value two by two and self dot current value will be updated with plus two so which will be four and we are returning two return variable we are returning two return variable so it is two so two will be printed over here now we are done now again this for loop will be executed for the next query and suppose here you are passing odd and two now see here the stream name is odd so it will go in else and in else we are calling this print from stream by passing the n value which is two and here we are passing a new object so a new object will be created new object suppose o3 is created so whenever this new object is created the constructor will be called 
and current value will be here one you can see here this is the main line and current value will be initialized by one now this value is two and the stream here we have passed or the stream or the stream so again two times this loop will execute and it will print the value since the current value for this is initialized by one so same thing will occur one and three will be printed after printing these two value one and three again it will go for the next query now here see if you are passing here even and suppose two so see what will happen here my stream name is even yes my stream name is even if it is even then it is calling print from stream by passing only the n value so so this value will be 2 and since we are not passing any second parameter so this stream will be so this stream equal to even stream object so this new object want to be created here this stream value is initialized only once when it is being called so it has been called from this value even comma 2 so at that time only one object was created this one so it will take the value from here only so it will execute two times so when we are going to call stream dot get next so it will call the get next function from here and it will initialize this self dot current self dot current is having value how much here four here from the previous object so four will be initialized and the current value will be plus two and it is returning two return so two return is having value how much four so here four will be printed and the next time again six will be printed so if you see here this was the catch means it was printing the value by taking the previous object the last reference value of the two return variable so what we will do whenever this function is called we will simply initialize we will simply initialize the object so stream will simply call the constructor in it so we are done so what will happen here is whenever we are calling this print from scratch method either for even or odd in the next line we are simply initializing the constructor in the next line we are simply calling the constructor for the given stream either if it is even or odd if it is even then it will simply assign this current value to zero in the constructor and if it is odd then for the odd constructor it is assigning the current value to one means we are simply initializing the value to zero or one depending on the even or odd stream so now let us see the value now you can see here after printing the five odd value you can see here after printing the five odd value one three five seven nine now you can see here it is printing the correct value for even number see for even for the last value so whenever we are calling this print from a string function in the next line we are calling the constructor just to initialize the initial value either with zero or one so it will work now let us submit this code So congratulations, we are done with all the hidden test cases. So basically in this problem, they just want to teach us about this default argument. So whenever we are calling this print from scratch for the even one, so we are passing only one parameter n. And here it is accepting two parameter n and the stream. So for the very first time, this stream will be initialized with a new object of even stream class. So whenever we are calling this method next time for this even one, so no new object will be created so the previous object property will be used that's why when we were printing for even value it was not printing the value from zero it was printing the value after printing three even values like zero two four and it was starting from six for this one so that's all for this problem so if you have learned something new please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel coding card and stay tuned for the next videos thanks for watching Oh,